What's up, everybody? It's your boy Circus here, back hey, on the. Can you share your screen so I know what we're talking about? What we're talking about? We're talking Sorry. about your list. I know, but I want to see what you're revealing. I'm gonna reveal whatever you talk about. Just the okay. <laughs> it just makes me agitated when I can't see. You make me agitated. What? All right, ready? Yep. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy Circus back on the Duel Links Entertainment channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a ban list prediction video. <laughs> What's up? Let's get some. I, I got my boy Herf here with me. Dude, how's it going, Circus? It's going pretty good. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's fantastic to be here. Awesome. So, 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 in case you guys are not aware, after a Casey Cup is win, yeah, hey, you did the intro, you can do the extra. <laughs> but uh, so, in case you guys are you know aren't familiar with the typical uh, schedule, typically like the a week or two after the Casey Cup is when we most popular, most often get a ban list and a skill rebalancing. So people have been talking about our ban list prediction slash wish list and skills. So we are about to do that right freaking now. Yeah, so, it usually takes one to two weeks, so that's why we're doing it now. Probably won't be this week, but maybe the following week or the week after. So up to three weeks, I guess you could say. So let's get right into it. We're just going to kind of, because there's different ways they can ban. They can put something to limit three, limit two, limit one. They can ban it, and then they can do skills. So we're going to start with limit three. And Herf, explain what limit three is, because this was a question in the comments in one of our videos today. So explain yeah. what it is and then what you think might go to limit three. So in case you're unaware, in Duel Links, the way the ban list works is that if something's at like a limit three, you take all the limit three cards and you can only have th three of them in your deck, if that makes sense. Instead of three of each, like it is in the TCG, it's three of the entire card pool. So that's why uh, you can only play like two Alice or the Invokers with one invocation. And that's typically how Konami has balanced excuse me, things that are interacting with Alistair is they'll just put them to three and then therefore they can't play it anymore. Okay. So, so uh, that's why like Battle and Boxer Veil is at three, stuff like that. So, so I really don't with think... Cosmic Cyclone, you can't play it. Yeah. Typically Alistair or Cosmic are the two ways that they can get people to stop playing stuff by putting it to three. Okay. So... Because, What's your prediction? What's your prediction? Because yeah, Alistair is going to be played, I don't think anybody's, anything is going to get hit to three. I think nothing, nothing is going to be hit to three. Nothing. I don't think so. Not out of Noble Knights? Not out of... No, just because... I mean, they're not using Alistair, so there would be no point. Okay. Right, yeah. unless they put multiple things to three, and I don't think they need to do that. Okay. All right, so let's just... Let's skip, skip right over that. All right. Uh, Semi-limited, so right? So Semi-limit, yeah. So everything's to two. Take the whole card pool. Get two of them. Uh, I think the first the first card is going to be Karma Cut. Yes. I think if you look at any other like trap card, spell card uh, in Duel Links, the usage statistics would indicate that this should be hit to two. Uh, just because it's extremely strong, it's very splashable, just it needs to get hit to two. And whoever thought a discard trap would become a game engine? Yeah, I mean like... For a lot of decks. Yeah, I mean if your deck is struggling, just put Karma Cut. You know, like, that, that easy forehead. Uh, you discard yeah, so that stone and it gets your deck going. Yeah, so that's why I think it should be hit to two. And I don't think it would kill any decks. It would just, you know, have more interaction. And it, it would stop uh, Desperado from being so stupid. All right. that kind of stuff. Because they'd have to play Karma Cut or Cup of Ace. And Cup of Ace is the best uh, flippy card, so. You definitely want um, that. All right. Yeah, they need that so they can't play Karma. Anyways. Next uh, one on next, your list. Uh, the Noble Arms Trap to two, just because now they can't play Karma Cut and the Noble Arms Trap and or Treacherous, right? So it'll lock them out of both, which are the two best trap cards in the game. So it'll make uh, Noble Knights a lot more fair going first. It won't kill the deck because they'll still play Canadius, Floodgate, stuff like that. But it'll just make it, like I said, more fair, more interactive, less of an auto win going first. Well, and we've seen a lot of builds recently where they're kind of working around that already, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Neg One's build, like he just had like two two of the trap, two of treacherous. So you just replace treacherous with literally any other trap in the game, and right. it's fine. Yeah, so. then you're good to go. 
All right, yeah. looks like you have one other uh, semi-limit, and which one is it? It's for a hot deck, a deck yeah, that's God really God hot God. right now. I think it should get semi-limited. Just is that, because is that it's the really spell? important. Is that yeah, the it's the spell? spell that pops a card. The reason I think that this should be hit to two and nothing else is that it's very easily, you could play it at one, you could play it, you know, very different things. But you need you need it in your deck as well as they're playing True Nade and True Nade. Hey, True Nade, right? Because that's... Yeah. That they're playing that and the bolt that would make them have to choose. Yeah, anything that plays true nade typically gets a semi limit in it. So if you look at something like uh, like Hara Curry, they did very well in a KC Cup and then instantly got something hit to two. So I think the same thing will happen here. All right. So uh, what do you think's going to one? I see your list here, and I'm kind of wondering: is it just because of the results of the KC Cup? Yeah, so Konami historically gets extremely pissed if a deck that they nerf to the ground is successful in any way, shape, or form. And so since Dark Lords won the KC Cup... Tentatively. And, yeah, I mean, it, it looks that way right now. Tentatively. Uh, I think that Dark Lord Tez should be hit to one. Just because, you know, it is so good in Dark Lords, and it's so uninteractive. It's a searchable, just omni-negate from destruction. Omni protection from destruction so it just protects everything like it's it's disgusting it's one of the best cards and they wouldn't be able to play it because they need sanctified so just kill the deck once and for all all right so and then what do you got for skills uh well band i want head judging oh you have band i didn't see band on there oh band should be head judging i just gone from the game degenerate card like i hate this card so much not even to one i mean what's more realistic well, if they put it to one, they only play one of it, and they have nothing else in the deck right. that's so out one. It has to be banned. Has, it has to get be banned, banned, or put to two. So that way they come and play with Cup of Ace. Yeah, so I, I would just rather have it out of the game entirely, honestly. Like, well, it's so good. Weren't you out. playing it in Magnets? Yeah, like, just get the... just. It's 50-50 to win the duel. That's degenerate. Right. I don't want it. <laughs> get Why it not? I mean... Book of Moon's a 50-50 card. Why wouldn't uh, no, but like, judging you, be a 50-50 card? But stealing a card permanently with no drawback is stupid. Right. It's well, the drawback is you lose stupid. and then you throw the card away. Yeah, but like, there's no cost to activate right, it. Right. It's like, there's no downside. It's, just, it's stupid. Right. Uh, right. And then the skills yeah. uh, that I want to adjust it is onomatopoeia to 1k life point requirement. And the reason I think that this should be the case is because they're still going to play Cosmic Cyclone. It would just make them have to transition away from Patronade because they need back row uh, removal that pays 1,000 mm-hmm. to proc their skill. And just being able to mulligan your entire hand for free is, or half of your hand for free is really stupid in general. What's and the requirement right now? Nothing. Just, just yeah, change just, it just shut, Yeah, just, just change out two cards in your hand for onomatopoeia cards. Any two cards, That's or do they have to be onomatopoeia cards? It's you ch- You get rid of two onomatopoeia or gaga ga cards in your hand and get two diff- and get two monsters. But the monsters will search the spells and, and whatnot. Are they random so, when they come back, or do you get to pick them? You get to pick them. You get to oh pick what God. goes, and you get to pick what comes back. So it's like, it's, it's a mulligan. That's the only skill that allows you to select what you mulligan and select what you get. So it's like a right. double destiny draw. Yeah, but kind I mean, of, essentially, kind of. it's, it's, that's why I think it should be to 1k life points because A, it wouldn't let you do it going first. Mm-hmm. And B, it would only allow you to do it if you draw a cosmic, which you would want to play anyways if God, God, God Bolt gets hit to two. So it's pretty fair overall. And I think just in general, it would be more healthy. Well, maybe we just put this thing to 1500. I want, okay. I don't, I think that'd be a bit too cruel. Yeah. Because there are, because you just play Cosmic, which is back to removal and proxy skill, but it requires you to draw Cosmic in order to do it. So you only have like a 50 50 chance of being able to do it. All right. So that's why I think it's more fair to do it that way. All right. We were shotgunning these so fast. I was going to look up the cards as we went, but I forgot because this was so engaging, Herb. And if you find this <laughs> engaging, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Because like right now, I think like we still have like 51% of the people watching this video that aren't subscribed. So please subscribe. Dude. No way. Yep, I would love it Say if you do that. So. But you should also get to Discord.
because the Discord is free, the tournaments are free, the new player help is free, Herf's love is free, as you can see. Only if you subscribe, though. Only if you subscribe. So make sure to get in there, because we're getting out of here. I'm Circus. That's Herf. <laughs> we'll see you next time.